this brief tutorial on using the website Chronometer. So this is a website that makes keeping a diet record a lot easier. It provides a lot of information. I think it's one of the better ones out there. You can sign up for free as it says here. Of course they will try and sell you better options but if you're working with me you're unlikely to need those. I just need a relatively accurate diet record for a few days. I've already joined up, but you'll need to sign in. It will take you through that process, so I don't think there's any need to do that. Right, so the first window you'll see is this. There are all kinds of things that you can fill in, fill in your profiles, your daily energy requirements. At this point, we don't need any of that. We just need a diet record. I'm just going to change that setting here. Right, now, you won't need to do that, so I've just done. As you eat throughout the day, you just add food, search for the food that you've eaten. So let's say an apple as a snack, uh, apple fresh with skin on, and preferably provide the information in gram amounts, slightly off the window here. So grams, let's say 85 once the core has been removed, add that, and just keep going until the end of the day. When you do reach the end of the day of eating though, please make sure you mark that day as complete. Otherwise, if you're collecting several days worth of data, it will just all get jumbled together and that will make it really hard to know what you had each day and it's a lot of work to re-enter it back in for you. So make sure you mark your day as complete at the end of the day or even before you start the next day. Now, there are a couple of things that might happen. Maybe you don't find the food, especially if it's a processed food with a packaging. So we have some options here. We can create a new food. Uh, you name your new food, you put it into a category, which will make it easier to find again later anyway. You can add notes if you want. You can add a barcode if there actually is one. Otherwise, you just start filling in these details. Per serving, that's great. and you can start filling in key information. You may not have all this information, just so just fill in what you can. An even more likely scenario that is that you have a recipe. You cook something regularly, and rather than entering all the ingredients in every time, you just make up your own recipe. So we'll call this one the apple and banana recipe, for example. Again, there's a lot of information you can put in, but what you really need are the ingredients. So, oh, banana's already there, that's nice and convenient. We can add a serving of banana. A weight is generally preferable, and we'll assume that that's not the only ingredient, an apple and banana recipe. We'll also add some apple. And again, so 85 grams, add serving. And so you go until you've got what you want, and you save the changes. Again, you can put in a category. So that really is all that you should need to know to get started with this program. And then when we meet, we can uh, discuss what all of the outputs actually mean. How you're doing in terms of getting your nutrients, where your calories are at, and so on and so forth.